Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update. My name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Welcome to my updates where I talk about the work that I've managed to do this week. We're going to be talking about some blurring and we're going to be talking about some uh, fixes. So, but before we get into the de details, as usual, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of my sp sponsors. Um, thank you all so much for basically allowing me to spend time on Inkscape. Um, it's really you guys who I want to center in basically describing why I'm able to work on Inkscape. Um, the more of you who are able to support, the more time I'll be able to spend on Inkscape. Um, which actually neatly, neatly brings me into um, the first point of our order, which is that I didn't actually get to spend as much time on Inkscape this week as I wanted to. I unfortunately had to spend uh, a great portion of my week on um, other private contracts. Mostly this is just to pay, pay the bills and keep things ro ro rolling in the house. Um, so, But I did actually manage to get some stuff done in Inkscape. Um, but, you know, you fit, you fit your schedule as best you can. Uh, the first thing is is that uh, at the weekend, I actually played with adding a feature for blur. Now, one of the things in SVG that allows you to do is uh, when you blur things, you don't have to just uniformly blur them. You can actually specify whether you're going to blur them via the X coordinate or the Y coordinate. Uh, but Inkscape didn't do a very good job of uh, providing you with the ability to uh, set these parameters separately. So I wanted to see if it was possible to put on canvas controls that allows you to basically drag the blur in that specific direction. Um, the, the whole idea is really to allow you to do things like motion blur. So if you're creating a piece of art where a figure is moving across the can canvas, then you can just drag the blur in, the, in, in that direction and create that effect. Um, you can also accumulate these blurs by creating new groups uh, using rotation or skewing, and then reapplying directional blurs over, over and over and over again to, to get some very freaky, interesting things. Um, it's not a complete feature. It's more play until we've settled on exactly how the user interface needs to look. Um, the canvas controls might end up going in by themselves, and then we'll figure out what the blur control should look like. Partially, this is because um, Inkscape had a naive assumption that the blue would always be uniform, despite the fact that that it, it definitely isn't the case in the S SVG spec itself. But uh, yeah, okay. Um, I fixed some issues with some missing blend modes. This is just re repairing some pre 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 previous work where I had forgotten to modify them in some other part of Inkscape. Um, I added beautiful soup to the win Windows build. That sounds completely mad. Uh, but tr trust me, it makes sense. It allows you to use the Clipart importer for, uh, I'm going to say, Ocal, the Open Clip Clipart li library. Um, I added a pre preference so you can turn off the new selection markers in, in, in the rulers. Uh, these are the new blue lines that show you where the items have been selected. This was apparently getting in the way of some people, which is legitimate. Uh, thank you, everybody who's able to test the developer builds bringing these items to my atten attention sooner um, is way more pre pre preferable. I get them fixed now than, you know, after the release uh, next year. I did actually continue to work on the P PDF font, font work. Uh, it's slow going. I'm struggling with trying to get Cairo to give me uh, the vectors that I want. Uh, so I'm going to keep plugging away on that. As usual, the PDF work is going to take time. Um, but that's about it for this week. Uh, let's have a look at some of the other work in Inkscape. These are features and fixes that I didn't do. Uh, first of all, a big sh shout out to PBS. He's dropped a merge request that improves document perform per performance by 20%. Um, that is some excellent work. It's great to see speed speed Im improvements. Um, Mike actually improved the, uh, the the ruler gradients. He wanted to make them a an interesting sloping gra gradient. Um, I also see some, some of his work on um, gradient controls in ge general, where you can generate uh, gradient curves and then having Skip calculate what those curves should be, which is really interesting when that lands. Um, he also uh, uh, did some alignment of la labels in the live path effects di dialogue just to make it look good. Um, a new face, uh, Miguel Figueroa Faraz. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Uh, he fixed an I issue when exporting on a closed file. And uh, Noah Penzant fixed an object uh, pro problem in the state status bar. 
Um, thank you all for contributing to Inkscape. This is great, great to see all of the new people. Um, so that's about it for this week. I think this is a pretty short video. Um, the sky is getting d darker each week, so each time you see, see, see me, the lighting is going to be more intense. Um, oh, there was one thing. I did a podcast interview uh, for... Um, so what I will we'll do is when that's published, I'll post a link and ho hopefully you can all see me uh, <laughs> answering some difficult que questions about how Inkscape is organized, how we make decisions, how teams come together, uh, which was a lot of fun. Um, so... Yeah, I will see, see you all next week.